All right, what's up, guys? So we have to talk about Tyler Perry. Went on CNN. Man, just another sellout. So let, let's talk about some of the stuff that he said. All right, what's up, guys? So before I actually start this one, take a few seconds, remind you to comment, like, subscribe, share the video, hit the bell notification. So anytime I release a video, you get notified. Uh, I know it's easy to forget to like and subscribe. Just make sure you do that. It does help the channel. And of course, with the YouTube algorithm, kind of going against conservatives, every bit helps. Um, so let's get into it. Tyler Perry. <sighs> you know, one of the most frustrating things as a black person in America is when I see extremely wealthy black people get on these platforms or utilize their platform and instead of encouraging people, encouraging black people, minorities that they can accomplish things, they buy, they, they buy into the idea of the systemic racism uh now i like tyler perry i like his movies they're hilarious and i won't stop liking his movies um because we remember now i'm not going to dislike you for your political beliefs or re really any type of beliefs even though i do feel like the systemic racism kind of is on the edge there because i do feel like it actually causes harm to people um but not the fact that it exists but the fact that we perpetuate that it does um, but anyway, I'm not gonna, gonna dislike him or anything. I, I think he's a smart man, uh, but I think he's just kind of playing it safe here and he's doing what, what we expect celebrities to do, right? Uh, and so to get into a few specific things that he said, you know, he, he talked about being on both sides of the, of the wealth gap and understanding the journey of a black person in America. Well, what is that journey? Because we always, we always use vague phrases like that. Journey of a black person in America. As far as I'm concerned, my journey has been no different than anyone else's. Anyone else that I know at my level has put the work in, whether they be white, Asian, you know, whatever, um, whatever race, ethnicity, um, it all boils down to how hard they're willing to work. And, you know, we continue to talk about systemic racism, but I just can't understand why systemic racism only includes uh, Hispanics and black people, because all the other minorities in, in the United States tend to do pretty well. So if it is indeed about white supremacy, then why do we have so many Asians and Jews performing at extremely high levels, making a lot of money? It just doesn't make any sense to me. And he talks about how he's you know, still profiled, he'll get pulled over because he's in a nice car in a nice neighborhood. You know, I, part of me really wonders how much that actually happens. I mean, actually happens. And then part of me also wonders, um, why are people so offended by the fact that profiling happens? I've said this before, but profiling is just part of human you know, human behavior. Uh, we base our experiences um, on how things go, and then we shape future interactions of those experiences. You know, we, we base it on what we've experienced before. That is profiling. And we do this with all sorts of things, right? Um, you know, if, if you go on YouTube, and you, you see one of my videos and you like it and you go to the next video and you like it in the next video and you like it and then you go to your home screen and you happen to see a video, something from me you may know nothing about but you click it. You just profiled, right? And YouTube knew that which is why they put the video there. Profiling happens in everyday life and this is the reality people that you must understand. We wouldn't profile if it didn't work. Now, that's not to say that profiling doesn't cause issues. It does. At times, it does cause unfair treatment. But one also has to think about the, 
the benefits of stuff like profiling, right? Because many, many times profiling saves lives, right? We always want to talk about the one incident of, oh, some wealthy, but like who, who cares? Bro? Look, that's a small price to pay to be as wealthy as you are. And again, if, if they pull you over and they, they, they verify your information and they let you go and they're not, they're not being, um, you know, super negative about the situation, then what is the problem? If, if, if that's my main concern being wealthy, hand me your bank account and you can take mine and you never have to worry about being pulled over for being wealthy. You know, I just, I don't understand why we have such an issue with profiling because this is the thing people profiling um, isn't what leads to you getting in trouble you doing things that you're not supposed to do leads you to getting in trouble profiling is simply stating that the people like you typically act a certain way and that's very very true we you know um, when advertising is done marketing uh, it's all based on profiling. And so to think that crime, right, would somehow, our, our, our race or whatever, since we profile on literally everything, to, say, to think for some reason that it would be excluded that just doesn't make sense to me. And again, we, we like to talk about the disparities, mainly in like how many black people are killed by cops, white people. But, you know, the thing, the thing is, guys, and maybe maybe we'll get into some um, controversial stuff here, some highly offensive stuff. So you know, if you're a snowflake, you might want to go ahead and check out now. Um, what annoys me is when we look at the numbers, right? Eleven and eight. Eleven whites killed by cops. Eight blacks killed by cops. <sighs> Recently in this year, I believe. The one thing that we quickly say is, oh. Blacks only make up 15% of the population. Therefore, there's a clear disparity. They're being killed at a at a um, you know a higher rate. And why is it? Again, I've said this before, but I feel like the the point needs to be addressed now because it's, it's never addressed, and it makes me so mad um, that these people have a platform and have an opportunity to tell people what the real problem is, right? And so, why do we never talk about the levels of crime? Why do we not talk about getting the crime down? See, this is the thing. You guys want to force the cops to treat people, you know, based on a profile that doesn't exist, right? You know, again, pro people don't go out of their way to incorrectly profile. Look, I'm black myself, and if I go to the inner city, I feel very different about my safety. I'm much more alert, and... Uh, for, for those of you who say I shouldn't be that way, please, please go to the inner city. Go ahead. Because, you know, I've had a house broken into. I've had a car stolen. So you get no sympathy for me. And if you act like the crime is not much, much worse, then you're just lying to yourself. And look, I get it, right? You know, a lot of the stuff I see does anger me when I when I see lives that don't have to be lost. But I'm also a realist in the fact that I understand that we can prevent much of this loss. But where it actually starts is not by these handful of, of criminals dying at the hands of the cops. Where it starts is in the home. OK, you know. It's so funny, too, because Tyler Perry would be the perfect person to push that message. If you watch any of his movies, it's about family. It's about taking certain responsibilities. It's about God. Um, if you think about all of that stuff, why is it then that we just ignore the fact of the nuclear family and how important it actually is? Why do we not care about fathers in the home? I, you know, that would save infinitely more black lives than any of this crap we're pushing today regarding systemic racism because there's only a handful of blacks being killed by white white cops but there's a lot of crime in these inner cities and you know this this idea of using percentages to describe black on black and white on white 
look, you can say what you want to say, but blacks kill blacks at a much higher rate, okay? Much, much higher rate. It could be the same percentage, but it's still a higher rate. And for those who, who don't understand basic arithmetic, do some research, okay? Do some research because don't use percentages, use actual numbers. And like I said, if you look at the population of the black um, uh, race in America, and then you look at stuff like crime, homicide, um, if you look at people raised in a single parent home, um, these things are extraordinarily high. And I think the questions that we should be asking is why? And well, that's what we're doing. But what we're saying is, oh, it's just systemic racism. We really don't get granular and say, why is this happening? Because, you know, at the end of the day, um, the world to me is an opportunity. And being in the United States gives you the best chance to make use of that, in my opinion, than living anywhere. Um, so I just, <laughs> I, I, some, sometimes I'm, I'm just lost for this, but um, there's so much freedom to do what you want to do. And, and like I said, I can't sit here and blame everything on an institutional system if I've been able to, to navigate my way through the system with hard work. And most people are the same way. And that's why when you see the, you know, it, it's interesting because if you look at the groups and how they're comprised, right? Most of your conservatives, your black conservatives, right, tend to be somewhat successful. They tend to understand the, the rule of law and they understand that hard work, um, you know, is what is important when talking about outcomes. Um, we do, they don't live by, by, you know, false claims. And, you know, then you have uh, the rich Democrats who are spewing this nonsense, right? They're the only ones really pushing this, this uh, systemic racism narrative. And then you have the white conservatives who, uh, and I won't even say conservatives, but you have the group of, of white people that just want to help. They, you know, they, they're tired of blacks going through this and going through that. But guys, like how many of you are around people who make bad decisions? How many of you are there to see that 99% of what uh, these people deal with is self-inflicted? And like I said, it's not, it's not pretty to say, nobody wants to, to speak the reality, but right now the problem isn't, isn't that there was past slavery because the families were intact coming out of slavery. It's not that there's some systemic system. It's not that um, you know, the cops want to go out of their way to hurt black people. The, the reality is it starts in the black community. It starts in a lot of these communities. And now, of course, the main problem we know is poverty, right? Poverty leads to crime. And so, again, people like Tyler Perry can be, instead of pitching this idea of systemic racism, he could be saying, <clears throat> he could be saying, hey, let's get this crime down. Let's do what we can do first, right? And then we figure out the rest of it. You see what I'm saying? Like, why try to control the pieces that you don't control first? Why not fix what you can fix? So, all that to be said, uh, I am a little disappointed in, in Tyler Perry and the fact that he decided to go on CNN, uh, that he decided to lie about systemic racism. Um, like I said, it's uh, just another smart black person, wealthy black person who is using their platform not to spread the truth, but to um, appease all of these uh, victims who blame every outcome on everybody else. Um, that's what we need less of. And that is what is truly hurting us because my, my mind frame used to be the same way around certain things. And then when that kind of opened up and I started dealing with, uh, you know, people, you know, where I guess where my mind really opened, I was a cable technician while in college and uh, I've had my share of interactions with wealthy people of all races. And the one thing that I noticed is that there wasn't any difference between them. Um, you know, the color of your skin is not something that you choose, right? And they all had the same, 
uh, perspective on life. They were all hard workers. And that's when, when I said, you know what, this is not at all about skin color. Um, if, if, uh, if these people can find a way to do it, despite everything that people are saying, then it must be easily done. And then from that point, I really started investing in myself. I started looking at where I put my time, and then I saw a very simple mathematical formula, and that's that if I apply myself with time and effort, I have a clear goal, um, and I do stuff every day to work toward that goal, there is no invisible systemic uh, you know, racism that is going to hold me back from anything. And like I said, currently right now, I live in a uh, city that is 1%, black, 3% minority. Um, so there's more Hispanics here and Asians here probably than black people. Um, have not felt a shred of racism. Everyone is extremely helpful. And look, just to be frank, I moved from a place with a much higher minority population. And just to be frank with you, it was, it was worse off. It was a blue city. Um, for the most part, black mayor. Um, but then I moved to a red state, and I don't know that I'll ever live in a blue, a blue area again. It's just different. Um, people carry themselves differently. They're much nicer. Uh, it's just a, I don't know, it's just my reality. Um, but that's going to be it for this one. So you guys let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, you know, that, that doesn't make sense what Tyler Perry did. Um, I'm sure some, some of what he said has some merit, but I think we need to be fair with ourselves, we need to be fair with others, and we need to be truthful and, and stop with uh, all this nonsense. But anyway, you guys let me know down below what, what you think. Uh, once again, make sure you comment, like, subscribe. Just want to give a quick thanks for the support on the channel. Um, you guys have been really responsive with, with the likes, with the comments. I appreciate the engagement. It's definitely helping the channel grow, and I hope you know that we can uh, kind of expand, find find our niche, um, hit our hit our our content mark, and figure out what we what we really really want to focus on. Um, because there's a lot of interesting things out there, and you know I try to get as much news to you as I can. But man, there the news, the news comes so quick, and working, having a family, and all this. I try to I try to talk about what I feel is important and what would generate the most um, the most help for America. But anyway, that's going to be it for this one, guys. Um, signing out. Take care.